So while I was in Korea, I got accepted to an apprenticeship in Australia. This is where things really got interesting. I went to Australia to study wood sculpture. You know, and I, I realized back then I was feeling a sort of freedom and, a, and uplifting. I'm no longer in that medical state anymore. I no longer had seizures because of my surgery. I mean, I went from 100 seizures a day to, you know, one every two years at that point, and now I'm completely seizure free. And when I was in Australia, I, you know, was lucky because I had traveled the world and I had finished my degree. But then the unexpected happened, which life loves to do that to you. I ended up becoming pregnant and deciding I have to come home to Annika Nish and take on the life of a single mother. This is not an easy decision to make. There's lots of options out there. But I realized because I was 26, I knew I could do it. And it's not an easy thing to do, as single mothers know. But I knew I had support in Anna Kanish. And so I came back petrified because I had an idea of what Anna Kanish was like. But Anna Kanish surprised me. <laughs> it really did. And as a young person, I thought, oh, it's so Catholic. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. You know? <laughs> and when I got here, it was really great because all the people that I thought were not going to approve were just so happy <laughs> that I came home. I mean, not too many people can say they had three baby showers. I was pretty, pretty welcomed home. But So I knew that I was going to be okay because I knew I had this feeling that this baby had me as a mother and I had been through so much. So. This is where I got introduced to the Law of Attraction big time. I had gone from working at Walmart to doing a video, uh, a video course, and then I was working a job that I was a little, unf I was unfulfilled at this job. And I was sick. I was so sick. And you have to understand that if you're not being truthful to yourself, your body knows. So listen. <laughs> So as I was in this job, my great aunt called me up and she said, you know, Carrie, you're really good at manifesting things in your life, but you don't ask for big enough things. I said, geez, you know, that's where that valuing yourself comes in. I don't ask for big enough things. So she said, you should watch this thing called, let's see if we can find it here, The Secret. Has anyone here heard of The Secret? Now, there's mixed emotions with The Secret. I had read a few books before The Secret that talked about the same thing, but it was the first time I had watched The Secret. And they laid out part of the equation that I hadn't gotten. And I said, geez, I should really try this out. And incredible things started happening to me after I had learned about the Law of Attraction. It was unbelievable. So in the Law of Attraction and the Secret, they say there's an equation. And it's, you have to know what you want. And a lot of people don't know what you want. So what I tell people who don't know what they want is write down what you don't want. We all know what we don't want. We don't want to be cheated on. We don't want to be in debt. We don't want to be sick. We can so easily rhyme off what we don't want. On the other side of the page, reverse it. I don't want to be sick. I want to have great health. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be cheated on. I want a faithful partner who understands me. So you have to just really look at your life and realize that you can have what you want. It's not crazy. And it's not material things. And this is what people, some people watch The Secret and they said, oh, they focus so much on money. That was one little chapter, money. But I found it interesting how people went right for that one. They said, oh, they only want money. No, they really talked about wealth. There's a difference between money and wealth. Wealth is everything. 
Wealth is health and happiness and happy relationships. It's everything, and it's okay to want health. Because I'll tell you something, we're sitting here in this room tonight in Anakinish, and I said this to the high school students. You know, you look next to each other and you know chances are in this town no one here is going to starve. And chances are people are going to help you and help you get opportunity. If they find out that you're having a hard time, chances are someone in this town is going to find out how to help you.